When evaluating three-dimensional shapes like this and you're asked to find the surface area and the volume, you need to be looking for matching shapes. In this case, it happens to be this little semicircle that you see right here. This is the same shape that's on the opposite side and it's parallel. So this is going to be our base. So when we're trying to find the surface area and the volume, the area of the base is the same as those two spots. We just need to find the area of this semicircle. Then if you're trying to find the lateral surface area also, we need to know the perimeter of the base as well. So that distance around this whole outer edge of this shape right here too. So let's do that right now. And lastly, the height is right here, the distance between the two congruent shapes, in this case being 27. So we'll start out with the easy part first. The height is 27. Then if I'm going to try to find the area of the base, I need to find out that that's the area of a circle, right? The area of a circle is pi r squared. So I just need to go pi times my radius squared, 4. But this base is not a full circle. It's a half circle. So we're going to go times 1 half. Then... Uh, that's the area of your base, the symbol. Now, next thing you have to do is find the perimeter of your base. If I'm going to find the perimeter of the space, I'm going to start with the curved part first. That's half of the distance around the whole circle, so that's like the circumference of a circle, which is pi times diameter. Now, if the radius is 4, the diameter is going to be 8, so it'll be pi times 8. That's the distance around the whole circle. However, it's only halfway around, so we're going to go times 1 half also. Now, don't forget, there's also this edge around here that we have to not forget as well. That's 4 for the halfway point, so the whole distance across here is 8, so I'm going to add in 8 as well. Then from here, I just use these four, these three answers right here to answer the questions to this problem. And now that we have these three, three answers right here, then we're going to use them in our formula. The area of the base is right here, the perimeter of the base is right here, and the height comes from right here. Lastly, uh, if, when it asks you to find the lateral surface area, this little last part of the surface area formula finds the lateral surface area. When it asks you for the area of the two bases, that's this first part that you're figuring out right here. That's what goes in this answer right here. Other than that, this should be all you need, and good luck.